Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number 14 of 31 Days of Tutorials. My name, as always, is Ryan Hafey with Hafey Digital. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to nudge your clips with keyboard shortcuts. Don't know what I mean? Let me show you. So sometimes you wanna move your clips just a little bit in your timeline, but that's not always easy, especially if you have the snap tool on because the clip is gonna to wanna to snap back into place and it might move you like three or more frames instead of just one or two at a time. And even if you turn that snap tool off, it can still be difficult depending on how you're zoomed into your timeline to move the clip just the right amount. But there's a much easier way to nudge your clips in Premiere and to do that, simply click on a clip and if you're on a Windows machine, you're gonna hold the Alt key and press the right or left arrows. See, it's moving one frame at a time. Or if you're on a Mac, you're gonna be using the Command key and pressing the right or left arrow. You can also use a similar keyboard shortcut if you're looking to move your clips up and down. Now you notice that if you try to move clips, sometimes they move a little bit left and right and it's not always easy to keep it going straight up and down. So instead, if you wanna keep the clip in the same position as far as left and right, all you need to do is click on your clip Hold the Alt key if you're on Windows or Option if you're on Mac and use the up and down arrows and look at that. You can quickly and easily move your clips up and down without worrying about them going off in weird directions. Or alternatively, if you would like to click and drag your clips but you don't want them to go astray, you can hold down the Shift key while you drag your clip and no matter how you move your mouse, it'll only move up and down. It won't go left and right. But that's it. Super super short, super short, super short tutorial, super short tutorial for today. But these are the types of tips and tricks that I wish I knew early on when I started editing because they would have made my workflow a lot faster. So I hope this was helpful to some of you out there. And if it was, you know what to do. Leave a like on this video and come back and see me tomorrow because I have another tutorial for you. Bye bye.